It's been two months since Indian troops illegally crossed the China-India boundary, but so far India has shown no sign of withdrawal at all. When the whole world is trying to wake India up from its impulse, China's realized it's impossible to awaken a guy who's pretending to be asleep. Nobody's blaming me because I'm asleep. <laughs> Fine, fine. Together, guys. Let's now take a look what India has done during these two months, which, in a nutshell, is regarded as the seven scenes. On June the 18th, Indian border troops carrying weapons and driving bulldozers illegally crossed the delimited boundary into the undisputed Chinese territory. Yes, you heard it right. Driving bulldozers straight into your house without even knocking at the door. What kind of neighbor would that be? You may think Doklam is a disputed area, but the truth is both India and the international community have recognized the place as a part of China, according to the 1890 convention between Great Britain and China relating to Sikkim and Tibet. And the thing is, this exact convention is under the protection of international law. Didn't your mama tell you never break the law? This is kind of funny. India's been inventing various excuses to whitewash its illegal move. But first of all, you've got to make sure your excuses can hold water, dude. India's argued that China's spewing of rose would represent a significant change of status quo with serious security implications for India. Would you go and take it up when your neighbor spewed in a pad in his garden? He's building a path in his garden? I mean, <laughs> Well, this is most outrageous. We thought India would have been wiser after the first stupid excuse, but this time an attempt to justify its incursion in the name of protecting Bhutan. Don't move. This is Bhutan's home. I'm here protecting it. Is this your home here? No, not my home. <laughs> Are you seeking years protection? <laughs> the Bhutanese authorities have clearly told Chinese officials that Doklam is not Bhutan's territory and they're also confused by India's behavior. Well, I'm just wondering, how's it feel shooting yourself in the foot? China has a strong will to solve the problem peacefully with the prerequisite of India's withdrawal, of course. However, India is so thick-skinned that it is on the one hand crying for talk, but on the other hand refusing to withdraw. Have you ever negotiated with a robber who had just broken into your house and refused to leave? No. You call 911 and just fight him back, right? Why call 911? Don't you want to play house, girl? <laughs> if you really want to play, get out of my house first.